Same thing, different methods. Yes, both men are in the business of beautifying phones and both of them say the trend is definitely on the rise. First, we speak to Freddy, owner of Eskins, a pushcart on the second floor of Bugis. How long have you actually had this business? Uh, for around six years. Around how many people would you get, say, in a month when you first started? Mm, around 100 to 200. In a month? Yeah. And then now? It's around up to 5 to 1,000. And the age of his clients? I think it's around from 14 to maybe early 40. Freddy, who works with a small team of part-timers, meticulously helps mask or customize wraps and Swarovski crystallized designs by hand. Chippers will be starting from 1890. They are involving in some crystals, right? Like those Swarovski crystals that will go up to maybe $100 and above. For these crystals, we have to do it bit by bit. Uh, one by one. Unlike phone covers, which you just click on and off, these designs, which can be customized to your request, will be attached to your phone and are more permanent. So you need to part with your phone for anything ranging from one hour for a simple lamination or masking job to up to five days for a full crystal design that they will put onto the protective skin layer. But Freddy says the results are guaranteed and the stones won't drop off because of a special glue he uses. Well, the man himself also has a personalized phone and another unique selling point that makes him hard to forget. Having this koi fish design. Okay, uh, slightly abing. Uh, it's a bit. Uh. Like your nail. Uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, this nail is meant for work purpose as well. Yeah. Really? How does that help your work? Um... For Swarovski crystal, we actually put it in a box, okay? Uh -huh. And for guys' fingers, they are quite big. So. Yeah, you see, it's very hard for us to take the space of the boxes that we put the crystals are very small, tiny. So I have to... use <laughs> <laughs> your nails? Yeah, scoop it off like uh, a spoon. Right? Yeah. That is the best reason for having a long pinky <laughs> fingernail I've ever heard. <laughs> And if you have more cash to flash and want to do your phone up to resemble delicious cakes, you can head over to DG Skin at the cafe. Here you can really do tons with your phone and covers. With hundreds of skins to choose from, you can start your design from there and choose from embellishments, Swarovski crystal letters, ornaments, lace, chains and lots of other things to beautify your phone. What's so special about their designs? The reason why, because we do reverse printing, so uh, so much so that uh, when they do it on the actual item itself, it's been covered by a layer of PVC. So that layer of PVC is basically alcohol preventive. So you can use any alcohol and wipe it, and it doesn't affect the color. And the color is retained, um, you can retain the color for more than a year, or year, or maybe, maybe I can say it's lifetime. At prices starting from $50 and upwards, DG Skin usually customizes up to a thousand phones a month compared to the hundred or so when they first started out as a small pushcart at IMM in 2004. And now, their piece de resistance. This is done um, by our creative director. It's not done by thinking, no? it's done by instinct. How much would a case like that cost? We price it at 888. But don't fear. While the place encourages you to be creative with their inspiration corner with tons of design examples to having a huge stack of magazines to show the latest styles in the Japanese phone trends for people to take inspiration from, they won't cut your throat with prices. We work on based on uh, the customer's budget. If the customers think that this is not worth it, and then we can actually reduce the amount and make make it more minimalist. So it's done really as a project, so and then a it's a labor of love. Yeah, labor of love. <laughs> so how much are we willing to pay for this? All their creations that they've displayed in their store definitely are testament to that. And they now find that they're doing tons more. Laptops, computer mouse, microphones for artists. They've done it all and seen them all. And Anthony said it best when he summed up the trend by saying, To be frank, I'm very basic and I don't like to customize my stuff first. But when I look at things that is belong to me, I want, I want to find, find it unique. I want to make it unique and people start looking at it, is, is this a MacBook or something like that? I find it 
very proud of myself, as I said. So to speak, is this is my stuff, and I can do whatever I want. It's it's great freedom. Kind of